in 2015, Amama Mbabazi announced that he would challenge his boss, President Museveni, in 2016 elections. The announcement caused some tension within the ruling party, which had chosen Museveni, the party chairperson, as the flag bearer. Mbabazi went on to contest for the presidency under the Go Forward outfit and faulted NRM for the mass corruption and economic decline. After getting only 1.39% of the vote, Babas has since kept a low profile. His Excellency Yori Museveni receives His Excellency President Ramaphosa. The first time Babas was seen in public with President Museveni was during the giveaway of his daughter to the son of South African President. Since then, the two have been seen in public together on at least four occasions. On November 17th last year, President Museveni publicly announced that he had reconciled with Mbabazi. Even with uh, the right honor of Mbabazi, recently we have been, I think you have been seeing me meeting them. With some of the other parties like Beti Kamiya, we are after aims, not, 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 uh, not individual issues. Now, the former NRM Secretary General has come out to explain why he has been silent. Babas gave some hints during an engagement with NRM youth councillors from Kampala on Tuesday, where he represented President Museveni. We should have no power that the chairman is meeting those even who are opposing us now, who are fighting us on the ground. He's meeting them so that he can turn them over to be with us. He also reasserted that he has never left NRM party. If I have been with you for 50 years in the most difficult conditions, I will not part from you because of the disagreements today. But if we have disagreements, I'll tell you. Here, my friend, I don't think you are right. According to political expert Dr. Bwenje Gunura, Babazi's return was expected. He has been part and parcel of the movement. It would be very difficult for him even to stand on his own. The experts that NTV spoke to believe Babazi's return translates into political capital for the ruling party. Babazi is a good strategist and I have no doubt that he is coming back to the movement. We will help the movement strategize on how to deliver services, to strategize on how to retain power. His work ethic, stature, and capacity to demonstrate an in-charge moment uh, gave uh, the regime and gave the, uh, the executive and the party this kind of credibility. He contested against President Yerim in Seven Industry, but just take record of what he was saying, look at what happened after the elections, look at how he has managed himself and the issues perhaps that would have emerged. So I think uh, that high level maturity and diplomacy in a person like uh, right on Obama Mbabas, we still need it. Does Mbabas's return to active politics this close to the elections have any significance? I do not think that at this moment Mosef, uh, Mbabas can have considerable impact, impact on the results of the election that we are holding next week. He has a following. There are people who can talk to and they listen. There are people who respect him. So when he comes in at this time, I think the timing is very good. But he has been around. At the time when Babas fell out with his boss, there was backlash against him from some party members. So how will he deal with such? The first option is to go back and say, yeah, here was a fault, we are at fault but uh, we come back to, to, to demonstrate allegiance. The other obvious option is to exit. For those who perhaps thought right on Ramama Mbaba's wasn't good or wasn't all that good, they must also appreciate that at their level as individuals, they also had the challenges. Or they have challenges. So we must learn to coexist and we look at, uh, let's look at one's strength. Mbabas also said that he's not happy with some of the things happening in the party and promised to meet various leaders over these issues.
This seems to suggest that Mbabazi is positioning himself for a big post in the next government if President Museveni wins the election. There is a saying that one of the penalties for not participating in the politics that you're going to be led or ruled by those who are inferior to you. Now, analysts are saying that the return of Amama Bawazi in active politics within the ruling party is positioning him for better or bigger assignments in the future. And they're also calling on those who did not concur with him or disagreed with him in the past to resolve their differences or quit. Sudil Yarhanga, 